Lords and ladies, welcome to another episode of Noble Crook. I keep wanting to say Noble. I'm just gonna have to change this to Noble Craft, I swear. Uh, yeah, back to Noble Wood. Hope everyone's doing well. Hello, Duke, how you doing? Yeah, we've got a few things planned I want to do, and that plan includes planning. So, enjoy that. <laughs> first things first, I want to add someone to our Wall of Legends. And this is just a little shout out I give to people who uh, watch the live streams and comment on the YouTube videos um, of the of the Let's Play. So yeah, just a little appreciation post as well. We got two new people to add today as well. Uh, I'm not going to say that top one. It's it's Wive it's it's Wive von Blitz, I think. And Duck on PC. Duck on PC is another Minecraft YouTuber. Guys, go check him out. He's I'm sorry, pretty much daily videos. He's building a castle at the moment and it's looking pretty good. So yeah, there's a little bit of a glitch with signs as well. I'm only doing two at a time. Uh, if I edit this one, it'll like break it. So I'm waiting for the new, for the new updates for them to fix that. And then I'll just be able to update all of them to have four names on. So yeah, what I want to do today, I want to plan a few areas. I want to um, just show you what I've been doing here and there and then I want to just walk around the plot here I just want to go to to the map here so here we go all right so this is our little area you can see how much we we, we were like barely made anything right I want to expand all the way I want to expand this map as well just so we can get the whole island in uh, at least this part of the island. Gonna, I want to populate this whole thing just with stuff right it's not going to be f totally dense but I want lots of big areas. So like this crop farm, I want it to go like all the way around the side and just, you know, this like here, right? Going all the way along here. We, this is a, this is sort of a flower biome. So I want to have this just densely populated with the uh, flowers, maybe like a few pathways digging through it. It's going to look quite nice. That's why I'm getting a whole bunch of bone meal. I'll show you that bone meal generator thing in a second. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go plot out everything that I want to do today, and that's pretty much the episode. It's going to be a shortish one, but this needs to be done, and I need some guidelines of what I want to do in this area. So maybe I'll expand this map as well as we go, perhaps. Yeah, let's see. All right, so I've got to do some enchanting here. I need to enchant this diamond hoe so I can hoe all that area that I want to do. So let's see here okay it wants to give me fortune i don't know what i'm gonna do with fortune projectile protection what are the other enchants here depth strata that might be pretty good actually depth strata and protection that's not a bad enchant for that efficiency oh we're actually out of level 30 enchant that's a bit sad okay we'll try it again sometime when i when i get enough levels i'll probably breed some cattle or something too how about that? Anyway, on with the day. All right, so what I've done is I've made a few maps going around. I want to just see how they fit in. I think that one goes there. Yep. Ah, uh, keep shift click clicking and then it does that. Oh no, that one's a duplicate. Okay, so we got two duplicates out of that. I need like a, a dustbin in here. Okay, well, we got that. I should maybe I should maybe go and like fill that in at some point because then we can at least see what this island is, right? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. Anyway, so what I want to do is now walk around and just label what I want to build where um, and sort of mark out things. Should be, should be fun. Also want to work on this pathway a little bit. Maybe what I'll show you really quickly what I want to do with the pathway. Let me just... um. We're just going to do that. So what I want to do is probably three wide. 
So then this one will be stone, maybe. No, I think we'll, we'll break it up with this. That should be okay. So let's do this. Oh, that was a very powerful shovel, shovel action stroke here. Look at that. It's like instant. Break that one too. Okay, and then three, right? One, two, three. So here, just going all the way like that. Ah, see, we actually get the dirt path. Interesting, I've never seen that before. Hmm, nice. And then what I want to do is, so that's going to be path like that, and then we're going to have stone slabs into here. The reason I'm just using slabs is because I'm poor right now, and this is a very good value for money, having stone heavy in slabs. So it makes a nice effect because it goes a little bit under, so there's like leaves a few pixels there. Jobs done. Which looks nice, I think. Hey, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Subscribing. And we go, we get this little effect here. I think it looks quite, quite nice. I'm actually, I think I really prefer this compared to the jagged pathways. Yeah, I think it's just a, it's a, so much neater, I think. Gives it a little bit more structure. So I'm going to do that all the way around and just pot out a pathway. A little bit of progress. We have straightened this line out. It's looking quite nice, I think. I think this looks nice. And then this is a little bit more crazy. Up here, then this leads down. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I might just like, I don't know, pave this whole area perhaps. But yeah, I think this actually looks a lot nicer. Nice straight line. And then towards the end here, we go around the tree that's up ahead. So I started to dig this out and then we'll go that direction again. This is very expensive in um in blocks though so I won't be able to do too much. I'm gonna have to go and get some cobblestone. All my mining I've done is very low so I'm just beginning the deep slate and I think deep slate here will be too dark. So that's why I haven't been using it yet. But yeah just grinding away. I said earlier I would show you this um very simple what's it called? Uh, bone meal maker. So chest on top, what I'm doing is all the extra crops I'm getting, I'm just chucking in here. And then a hopper into a, what's this called? Composter. With another hopper here pointing into this chest. And boom. There you go. What I should probably do is, like these ones, put my, um, around the side here. I like marking out the chest in the ground, rather than, um, rather than, like, them sticking on top. Yeah. So the reason I'm making all that um, bone meal is areas like this, right? This isn't going to change too much because I'm going to have the pathway come down here. That's going to go down to that little dock area there. So this is just going to be open ground for now. And it's nice just to just to fill it right with uh, with grass and plants. And it automatically makes like flowers and stuff. We'll put there. Then also like behind here, right? Because this... Also, this isn't going to have anything else here. So that makes it feel a bit nicer. And I might make the crops... I don't know if the crops will come out this far. They might. They might come out all the way. So they have the crops come all the way out here. You know, otherwise it's just like that here. And it just distracts the bees. Having these flowers around here. So I might, yeah, hoe all this out. Bring it all the way up to the edge. Thing, things like that. Yeah, why not? Let's see if it works. So we end up bird's eye view here now. And you can see that our starting area is quite nice, right? There's my mine when I did some underground mine, mine mining. And that's oh, huge under here somewhere. It's massive. Uh, I've got my mine shaft over there somewhere. It's just like a tunnel going straight down. Start a house, my nether portals, everything under there. And now we get looking around here. It's quite an open area, nice and flat. Some elevation change, but I don't want to change too much of that. I want to try and keep things somewhat natural, but like, you know, maybe like this two layers I'll shave flat the whole way. So what I want to do, right, let's crouch before I uh, fall off. So this pathway is going to come along here. I'm thinking a straight, not a straight line, maybe until there, straight. Then we'll come in and then like we'll zigzag right but it's going to have different paths going off to different areas 
uh, this next to the sign next to my wall of legends here it's going to be a pathway going down down there and then into the dock area i want to have one or two boat builds along the shoreline here and maybe like a bigger one further out my plan for this area is really to populate the starting island because spawn is spawns over here somewhere like the world spawn so I, I want to really populate this area before going out and doing too much because this is the perfect sort of area to do it all right now but what are we going to be building here i don't know yet over here there's a i should have brought my binoculars actually or my telescope thing uh a big hole okay i actually want to fill that with water and make it a little lake I have a walking pathways going around it, a few trees here and there. Um, my custom trees I'm going to be putting around in a few locations as well. So we're not going to have any standard trees around here at all. It's going to look really nice. The cattle, the cattle and stuff aren't going to stay here. They're going to have their own areas. So like there might be like all the pigs. There might be all the chickens. So they're not all just going to be crammed like that. This is just starting base stuff right that you have to do to get all your food but now i've got tons of food um so i don't need too much there maybe like an automate automatic um sheep farm with all the colors might be quite nice not not massive farms guys this is single player world you don't need huge mega farms you really don't you just need a few basic farms here and there. i'm gonna have like an automatic cook chicken cooker somewhere um, we're going to have to do a few more buildings. I think we need more buildings in this area. So that's my sort of starter house, right? So maybe we'll have like another house over here. Another house over there. But this is going to be ma mainly flat cropland. Sprinkled in with some like maybe nice parks, right? A few nice park areas with potted plants and thing things like that. Maybe like a, a micro little like maze sort of thing made out of bushes just a tiny little thing like a like a 30 by 30 block area right just small little details here and there but i really want to make this whole island feel really full i think that's going to look really nice so i think what we need to do is maybe head down and just make like a one line of a pathway block and just map out a few areas and place a few signs of of where we want things i think that's the next step so we have marked out a few pathways so let me go over what my thoughts are all right we got this pathway here these crops here are going to expand all the way up there here's a bit of a cliffy area so we might break it off there or obviously those spruce trees are all going to go the sugarcane farm i might extend a little bit more just so it fills up that area not make it too much bigger it doesn't have to be much bigger than what it currently is to to be honest you see around the wall of legends we have made a little pathway and that pathway then will extend down to the dock area there's going to be a few a few ships not too big just like little fishing ships and maybe something further distance a bigger ship i'm not really good at building so we'll see how that goes uh, over here we're going to build a greenhouse is my plan for down there because that is a flower forest biome and that's i think the perfect spot for a a nice um greenhouse thing sort of like the british ones where it's you know got like a, a central dome and then maybe things coming out the side and like a little bit going out the back so sort of like it might start there or something will flatten out the area or maybe fill in this layer here because that all looks down all right then out here will the crops the crops will continue i think we'll have this whole area here just be crops just be crops like that all the way um alternating patches perhaps um maybe maybe not we might have a thinner pathway just like two blocks wide going through the different crop areas maybe we'll like Make it in block six sections like you do in real life. Our crop areas are sort of like squared off. That might be that might be an idea. Then over here, this might be the area for the cattle. So all the farming, all the animals and stuff are all gonna be in this block area right here. 
that's gonna be quite nice you'll see over here there's a bit of a cliffy area so we might shear that off and make it look like a retaining wall and then over here there's actually a little spot that is going to be a where's the sun oh it sounds going down it's going to be a little bit of a waterfall and just a small little like oasis area there just next to all the animals will be quite nice and then we've got the pathway going out further we're gonna to have to do another house build which i'm thinking on that bit of a raised area there for another house area and then you'll see this part over here we're going to build a bridge going across there uh, someone in chat saying what about a wall i don't think i'm going to build a wall to be honest i don't think walls look that nice especially for something like this big i think that's a little bit unnecessary i don't think we need that so that's it for this episode guys i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you thought about the plans and yeah what what else do you think i need in this area that'd be really helpful anyway guys i'm gonna end it there thank you so much for watching and once again if you comment on this video i will um put a few of your names on the wall of legends anyway guys see you soon Bye.